Hi, I'm Steve Goodacre. I'm Professor of Emergency Medicine at the University of Sheffield. And I'm here in uh, the College of Emergency Medicine conference in Exeter, uh, talking about high sensitivity troponin assays, and in particular giving the view from the National Institute for Care Excellence. Um, it's quite timely because NICE are about to produce guidance regarding the use of high sensitivity troponin assays for the early rule out of myocardial infarction. And they will be recommended recommending that high sensitivity troponins can be used for early rule out within a few hours of attendance in the emergency department for patients with suspected myocardial infarction. And that marks a big change from the previous guidance that suggested that we had to keep patients until, until, until 10 to 12 hours after their worst symptoms, which usually involved hospital admission. Now, there are some complexities about this because high sensitivity troponin are complex, is a complex test and myocardial infarction is a complex diagnosis. But that's where I believe we as emergency physicians have an important role to play. Drawing upon our extensive clinical expertise and our knowledge of this area, we can use these tests in a, in a sensible way, in a way that takes our individual patients' preferences and individual patients' characteristics into account to make the best decisions. The two key messages that I'm going to be putting across today is first, but we need to clinically assess our patients before we do troponin testing. This will tell us whether we need to do troponin testing at all, and when we've done it, how do we interpret the results and how do we act on those results. I'm also going to be saying, and this may be a bit more controversial, is that while we need to avoid missed MI as much as possible, we shouldn't be tr trying to avoid it at all costs, because if we try to avoid missed MI at all costs, then we're going to be contributing to problems for our patients and for our departments. We've heard a lot at the conference about the problems of exit block and the problems of overcrowding. If we are over-investigating people, then we're going to contribute those problems and making them worse and causing patients harm. Similarly, if we are doing too many tests and over-diagnosing people, then we're going to cause harm to them. If you want to know more about this, then you can either contact me or the NICE guidance will be coming out, and with it, it will be having guidance on how to implement the recommendation that high sensitivity troponin assays can be used to rule out MI early on in the emergency department.